Webmania. Hello viewers, welcome to Webmania Bootstrap 3 9th tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn Bootstrap Responsive Image Gallery. We want our photo gallery or image gallery to look like this. We want to achieve this layout of our photo gallery. On the top of the page, we used Bootstrap photo gallery as a title and below this title we have six images which are clickable means that when we click on the image we can see the original image so let's check this is thumbnail of the image and inside the thumbnail we have the image name which is the caption of the image and below the caption we have the image and when we click on the image we have we we can see the original image so let's go to our editor to make some practical work it's our editor so let me size this bigger okay so first we want to create a container class container inside container we want row class Inside row class, we want a column which is spanning across 12 columns on large screen, which contains our title. And our title is Bootstrap Image Gallery. So let's save it and let's go to browser to check how it look like. It's a browser, it's now looking blank and when I reload the page, you can see the title displayed here. It's our title is going to display it, which is Bootstrap Image Gallery. Now let's go to our editor to make our image gallery. So it's our editor and we want to make our image gallery responsive. For this, we want to display three images in each row on large and medium devices. And on small devices, we want to display two images on each row. And on extra small devices, we want to display only one image which is by default. So let's do it. Div class, we want three, three images to be displayed on large and medium. So we use four call on medium devices. We also need, we also want to display three images each row. Now on small devices, we want two images to be displayed and on extra small devices by default it took one so I'm not going to include the extra small class so we want the thumbnail to be clickable so I'm going to use an anchor element so a giraffe. in anchor element we use images and in our images image one these all images, image 1 to image 6, are all in our root directory folder. In root directory folder, the folder is images, and inside images, all these images are placed. And I am use the reference of these images, and then. So I am going to use the class of thumbnail, and this. This thumbnail class is going to make this anchor element displayed like a thumbnail which means that whatever we have inside the anchor element that will be displayed as a thumbnail. Within that within thumbnail we want the caption of the image. We want the caption of the image means that the name of the image. So we use h h4 and here I give him the name of the image is image1. And inside the name of the image, we want to display the image. For this, I'm going to use image element. Image and inside the image, we want to display image 1. So let's save it and when we go to our browser to see how it looks like. This is our browser and it's simply just showing the bootstrap image gallery title. And when I reload the page, you can see the image. Here you can see the image, you can see the thumbnail inside the thumbnail. You can see the caption of the image, name of the image, and inside the name of the image, you can see the 
you can see the image let's go to our editor back to do some more practical work there is our editor i have already typed the required html for the other images i'm just going to paste the code the code is almost same the only difference is that the name of the image is changed so i'm going to paste the code here here i paste the code and the code is same as you see the only difference is image name on anchor element i give the reference of image 2 the name of this image 2 and the image i'm going to display is also image 2 and similar to the other images so now let's go to our browser and see how it look like it's our browser and now it's displaying the title and only one image in our photo gallery and when i reload the page you can see now we're displaying all the six images so in starting i see you we want the image when i click on the image this show me the original image you can see when i hover the mouse on the image is show a hand symbol hand sign it means that the image is the image can be clickable so when i click on the image you can see the original image so when i click the image here you can see the original image is displayed so back go back so let's go i'm um, displaying this image so simple i hover on the mouse and when click on this you can see the image is displayed let's go back it's also showing okay so our image gallery is working and when i resize this here you can see on extra small device we want only one image to be displayed on each row and as you see only one image is displaying on each row and on small devices we want two images to be displayed so here when we are on small device screen here you can see two images are placed in a single row and when on medium and large devices we want three images to be displayed on each row we have two three images so here is our photo gallery which is responsive so in this tutorial it's enough in our next video tutorial we will learn about the bootstrap utility classes thank you for listening have a good day